STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, the Arts, and Mathematics. With a STEAM portfolio, we expect to see students use these five fields as access points or angles in their critical thinking and problem solving. If you don't have any art and design background, you still have other ways to show your talent. In a STEAM-related project, for example, we would like to see your development process and the rationale behind that process. Students with STEAM portfolio can show us their work, such as community service, and tell us their experience. What they have learned and write a reflection. Students can also do a research project by photo taking, mapping, visual diagrams, and write down their observations. We are looking for students who has good observation and analytical skills. Students can also show their portfolio in many ways. I have included my sewing and embroidery work, which are things I personally found interesting. As this is one of my specialties and one of the major highlights in my portfolio, I also put some of my sketches in it, including how I wanted my design to be even if I can't actualize it at the moment. Through sketching what I observe in my daily life, it can sharpen my observation skills and provide another scoop to feel the world in a slower manner. To really ask questions like, why is this place so attractive? Why I feel annoyed by that design of the window. So it can also train my critical thinking and being reflective on myself and the surroundings. In short, learn horizontally and develop vertically would be my biggest tips for preparing a portfolio. Horizontal means that you need to try different medias and explore in different aspects of life. After showing you have a broad field of life and skills, it is crucial to develop your specialties vertically. Like mine is sewing and textile work. And joining different programs can help you to find it. For example, my research topic is about plastic. After experimenting with different possibilities, I still merge in some of my textile preferences in it by making plastic wallets and pencil case. The portfolio does not only represent the final results of your project. Instead, it includes some of your process images. For example, sketches and idea drafts. I think students can keep a sketchbook official diary, which contains what they love to let our teachers know who you are. A sketchbook or official diary is important because it can record what you observe in your daily life. It doesn't need to be very beautiful and tidy, but it should be true to yourself. Another tip is to join our summer program or other design-related activities to broaden your horizons. Polio Design has program with the secondary school students. Last year, I have two secondary school students who joined my countryside research program to investigate Gokpo village in the northern part of Hong Kong. And they developed a service and community design proposal during the summer program. What we expect to see from a portfolio is a well put together, articulate and clear graphic document that showcases a person's skills, but also their critical abilities of what they see in the environment around them. Secondary students who are interested in joining our cohort of students are advised to actually talk to professionals and better yet, even come to the school to see examples of the student work that we have on display. That's all for now. Please visit these links for more information. We look forward to your application.